Hello YouTube lovers, this is Raptor V268 and I'm gonna be building a refuge for my uh, tank. There's my tank over there. Um, over the weekend I went and I bought a uh, 20 gallon long from uh, Petco and uh, this is a dollar a gallon sale. Picked up some uh, some DAP sealer. I don't know if you can see it, but that says aquarium safe. That's um, and um, I'm gonna be using this. One of the things I'm, I'm gonna be using is a it's a filler pencil. It's sort of like a uh, crayon, except it's a little softer. And um, I used it to mark the dividers right there on the tank so I could put the silicone in first and I use that as a guideline on the inside this this mark is on the outside I marked it on the outside I just measured it uh, it's about five inches this side is about eight inches so in the middle the middle is about a little bit over 16 inches and uh, picked up this uh, plexiglass I think I picked it out of the garbage had it in the garage for a while it's not really that thick but you don't really need anything that thick it's something you could probably like window pane size and uh, Here's my handy Dremel. I used the Dremel to uh, round over the edges so when uh, I install the uh, plexiglass it will be uh, flush to the flush to the bottom almost and it'll uh, it won't be piercing the uh, seal on the uh, edge of the tank and I got this um, propane torch here I used that to um, for the top of the uh, plexiglass where the water's going to flow over I sanded it I sanded it and then uh, I took uh, the torch and uh, I just went over the top really quick and it uh, gives it a really smooth uh, feel to it and a glassy look and it takes away all the cut marks and stuff. I sanded it a little bit before I used that uh, propane torch. You don't go on there, you don't stay on the, when you, when you use the propane torch, you, uh, you go pretty quick on that plexiglass because if you stay too long, the plexiglass edges will start to bubble. I'm getting too hot. Okay, so there's the silicone I'm going to be using. Let me show you how I did the uh, top edge of that uh, top edge of that um, plexiglass. To get an idea how quick you go over it. This is just a scrap piece. And all you do is um, get your torch going. And it puts a really nice clean finish on the edge there. You can let it cool off and do it again or sand it and then do it again if it didn't come out good the first time. If it bubbles, you can sand it out, but sometimes the bubbles don't sand out all the way because they're deep bubbles in plexi. That's what I used the propane torch for. Okay. Now let's see, I'm gonna it over here. Puncture this.
This is, um, it's about an inch off of the top, maybe less than an inch. Let me measure real quick. It's going all the way to the bottom, though. Oh, it's like a half an inch, maybe. I'm going to see how that works. And um, I want as much water as I can get in the refuge middle part. Um, I haven't decided where I'm gonna, which side I'm going to put the, uh, the pump or the, uh, the return and the, and the supply. I don't know, the bigger end, I, the bigger side, I think I might put a protein skimmer in there or a, I don't know, maybe a GFO reactor on the outside. I haven't decided yet. So I'm just going to make my first one. So with me might be some mistakes coming up. So, but I'm not afraid to make mistakes. Now I'm just going to follow that line. Putting a pretty big bead of cough there. Stuff's got like an odor to it. It's pretty. It's not too bad, but. Okay. Okay. The rounded edge is over. I'm just gonna slide it in there. I think. Uh -huh. Slide it from the, I'm going to slide it this side and hopefully it'll glue this side and then it'll be easy to glue this side if I have to re-glue it because there's a lot more room here so. I'm just going to do one side at a time. And I'll 
I'll do this side after it dries. Close shot of that. See how he likes it. And probably it's not, it's not the best job in the world, but you'll probably clean it up a little bit. put the other one in so you kind of got the idea I'll push it down a little bit more and I'll just clean it up with a paper towel or something you know Some toilet paper want it to look kind of good nice to, you know You got the idea. Okay, hope that helps some people out there. Thanks for watching. <laughs>